Liz is with us in Illinois. Hi, Liz. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Thank you. Hi, Dave. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? Good. Uh, good. So um, I was. We're doing our taxes, and um, last year for two thousand um, well for two thousand and eighteen, we had three hundred and sixteen thousand dollars in capital losses. Um, we were told that we could only deduct three thousand a year on our taxes. But I did the math, and that would take 115 years, and I just, I'm just i hoping I don't live that long. But um, our accountant said that he suggested opening a brokerage account instead of a 401k to utilize these capital losses, and I just wanted to hear your opinion on that. So it sounds like the the type of losses that you have is what's causing the write off uh, uh, the inability to write them off because you don't have any income that is uh, of similar sources to the losses. Right. Yeah. And so he's saying open a brokerage account um, because the income on that then would be tax free utilizing these losses to write it off. Okay. Right. Exactly. I'll bite. Um, okay. Hmm. <laughs> and I don't know, would you treat a brokerage like a 401k? You just let the money build and then... Yeah, I mean, you could, you could you you put the money into a mutual fund. And the problem is, is that if you put it in mutual funds, the a lot of the gains may not be taxable um, because the growth in value is not taxable until you cash it out. And so you're not getting any use of this. The brokerage account where you're buying and selling stocks... Uh, if you had mm -hmm. a gain, that's all taxable in that year. Um, it sounds like you've got a short, you need short term income on investments, not long term capital gains on investments to offset this. What was this from? What's the loss from? Um, from trading, from doing trades. Jesus. Yeah, it was bad. It was a bad situation. My, um, Husband was diagnosed as being bipolar, but not until after this happened. And um, we, we, it just all happened within six weeks. It was just kind of a manic yeah. thing, and it was, you know, very out of character and very upsetting. And obviously, what is your what is your um, household income? Um, for last year, oh my gosh, it was only um, thirty eight thousand. Um, this year it's going up. My husband got a new job, um, starting at 50,000 plus, you know, whatever bonus. Where did the, you have 300,000 that you could lose? Uh, we had it in an inherited IRA oh, crap. and, um, he was work. Yeah. And so he was originally, I had just had a new baby. I was having problems with pregnancy. So he started working from home trading because he was doing it and doing well with it. Um, There's no such thing. until he. Well, yeah, up until he wasn't, yeah. and um, so now it's just been trying to find... 78% of day traders lose money. Yeah. Statistically, that's called all of them, okay? Yeah. So yeah. Don't, don't even ever say that again, that he was doing well. No, was never. That's like saying yeah. I'm at the roulette table and I hit, so I'm doing well. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. all right, let's stop for a second. Um. <laughs> Dad, gum, the inherited IRA was taxable. He pulled the money out and paid taxes on it and then lost it. He must have, yeah. Yeah, because inherited IRA is taxable when you pull it out. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it was bad. Um, okay, here's the problem. If we get too nitsy and nuanced and technical in order to get some benefit from this write-off, but it exposes him to the very beast that just about killed him the first time, I don't like mm -hmm. that. So no, your husband yeah, no. being anywhere near a brokerage account sounds like suicide to me. So that's what that is, a brokerage account. Is a brokerage account is an account that you have with a broker that you call the broker and you do trades. Okay. okay. Which is, the answer yeah. is no. Your husband does yeah. not need okay. to be anywhere near that. Um, so, um, I don't know in your household how you're going to create gains on investments 
to offset losses on investments to get the benefit of this that is substantial. I don't know how to do that. Uh, what I would do if I were in your shoes, before, before I put your family at further risk playing oh, yeah. with the same snakes that already bit you, I would just say, yeah. screw it. Forget it. It's just gone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, okay. but yeah, but sure. before I completely do that, um, I want to ask a question. If I'm you, because there's 300 grand on the table uh, of losses that we'd be nice to shelter income with, I want to ask mm-hmm. a, a a different uh, tax advisor than you have uh, the same question. What other accounts okay. qualify? What other investments qualify for this ride? The returns on them qualify to offset this loss. I think, though, you're probably gotten pretty decent advice in terms of what technically applies, but it was bad advice when you pan back and understand the situation because your husband right. doesn't need to be anywhere near a brokerage no. account ever yeah. again. No. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Manic depressive people should not be doing trades. Hello. You know, nobody yeah, should. Yeah. But nobody should, but bipolar sure as crud shouldn't. So I'm so yeah. sorry. What a horrible thing y'all have been through. Okay. Well, we're we're getting through it. There was some debt that went into it along how's your, with it. How's your marriage doing? <clears throat> Our marriage is good. It's strong. You know, we go to counseling. I'm very supportive of him. Is he um, healing from the bruises never, where you hit him? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think he'll be okay. <laughs> be oh okay. Lord, I can't even imagine. I'm so sorry. Well, we yeah, really let, let's do this. Okay, let's do this. Let, let's let's say out loud. Let's say out loud that your accountant may have given you good tax advice, but bad mental health advice. Right. Okay. So stay away from a brokerage account, but let's also double check and get a second opinion uh, and some other possible options if there are any that are safe and that are mm-hmm. away from the snakes that have bitten you before that where you could get this right off. But before I did a brokerage account, I would just lose the money. It's just part of the sadness of this whole situation. Thanks for the call. Anytime, any time you try to short circuit the process of building wealth, you get bit. Anytime. Doesn't matter if you're bipolar, doesn't matter if you're A-type, doesn't matter your Enneagram number. He who hastens to be rich will not go unpunished. I did it. Her husband did it. Don't do it. 